Okay, how many say the final temperature of the ice cube is zero degrees C? Minus 196 degrees C. Some other specific temperature that you can name. <laughs> I want, if it's something else, I want it to be something else that you know. Or none of the above, and that inclu would include need for information, probably. So it, if it's some other temperature, what would it, what would it be? Is it if it's none of the above, or I'm somewhere in between? So I, I leave it there until the temperature of the ice cube stops changing, is what this says. If the temperature of the ice cube is, is higher than minus 196 Kelvin, by the way, where on a three-phase diagram is the liquid nitrogen right now? On a three-phase diagram, where's the liquid nitrogen sitting? How many say A? B? C? D? E? Okay, the main votes are, are, are for B. This is a liquid. That's a solid. That's a gas. On a, on a standard three-phase diagram, as you add heat, you, the temperature goes up for the solid, then you melt the solid to a liquid as you keep adding heat, and then the temperature of the liquid goes up. And then you boil the liquid, and then the temperature of the gas goes up. So that's what a standard three-phase diagram, I'm assuming, how many have never seen one of these? Okay, good. All right. I was assuming you had seen one of these. And this plateau here is where you're adding heat and changing from a liquid to a gas. There's a name for that. It's called boiling. That's exactly what the liquid nitrogen is doing. It's changing from a liquid to a gas at its boiling temperature. Minus 196 degrees C, or whatever its boiling temperature is. That's what the liquid nitrogen's temperature is. If the ice cube was hotter than that, so it was somewhere between 0 and minus 196, if it was hotter than that, would the liquid nitrogen, what would happen between those two? If, you put a, if, the, if the ice cube is hotter than 196, what's going to happen? It's going to transfer more energy away to the liquid nitrogen. The liquid nitrogen is going to boil faster, and the ice cube is going to keep cooling down. When does it stop cooling down? When it's at the same temperature. Heat is an energy transfer from something at a high temperature to something at a low temperature. When the two things are at the same temperature, that's when the heat transfer stops. You will always raise the entropy of the universe if you transfer heat from something hot to something cold, and that's what's going to happen automatically. You don't have to remember what entropy is or even know what it is. We'll talk about it later. Heat is transferred naturally, without anybody doing anything about it, between something hot and something cold when they're put into contact. It doesn't stop being transferred until the temperatures are the same. In other words, B, minus 196. I'm going to grab that chunk of ice. It's at minus 196. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to drop it into this zero degree, into this zero degree water. So minus 196 ice dropped into zero degree ice water. So it'll warm up. It's going to warm up until it gets to zero degrees. Initial and final temperatures of the mixture in ice water are the same. The ice water started out at zero. It ends up at zero. The ice chunk that I threw into it ends up at zero. The final temperature of the ice cube is much larger than it was initially. It went from minus 196 up to zero. 
The thermal energy of the ice cube increased. It went up because the temperature of the ice cube went up. Name an energy system that lost energy to the ice cube. If the ice cube's thermal energy went up, some energy must have gone down. What energy in here went down as the ice cube warmed up? I'll give you a minute and a half to talk about it, and then I'll tell you the answer, and we're almost out of time. I'll give you a minute to talk about it. <laughs>